stone with plastic model builder. We've got the Revell 132nd T51B Mustang, not the D. This is it. Got some weathering going on there already from my grubby fingers, touching it all over the place and fixed a crack that I had down the seam here. Anywho, we are going to put some decals on here and I've got them set aside already. So let's get started. We are going to start, of course, with these right here. There they are. Go right here on this piece that comes off. Gotta love that. Uh, not a lot of these. I'm not gonna do a lot of the, uh, the stencils, but so we're gonna start with this right here. Work on that. Thank you. I try to do good models. Sometimes I get excited and don't do so good, like when I cracked it right there. So I just weathered it. Easier said than done, right? Uh, I'm gonna do all that stuff, got the decal soaking and finish all this good junk. And then these models will just about be done tomorrow. We're gonna make these look a little bit more lifelike along with all the other ones that we've got, so. Model making madness, make it look pretty. Knock on wood. We'll see how everything turns out. I have had an experience with it taking forever and a day for these decals to uh, get the water into them. It's like the longest process of building a model. It's like watching grass grow, almost. I mean, how many people like watching grass grow? I can't really name any, but I guess maybe lawn men, because, well, yeah, it's their job. Mowing lawns isn't too bad. If uh, you never want to run out of work, go live in Florida mowing lawns. Grass grows there like it's going out of style, in case you didn't ever know that. It's a nice place to live. Oh, on these, I... Uh, Went around the edges, got all this stuff off of it. That way I could get a better seam with how it meets up. It's gonna go in nice and easy right here, up top. Let's see here, got all my tools going on. Make sure these go down nicely. Should meet up just perfectly with this. Not sure. We can at least take this off. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit there. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'm pretty sure this will fold under, I assume. Get that on there. Move that off to the side. Kind of working on a new thing where I get the decals, could cut them out ahead of time. That way you get some soaking, some being applied on that good junk. As we all know, modeling is a process. One thing I messed up on, I really don't think I'm going to worry about it, is I guess the tires on this are white walls. Comes with little decals as well. Uh, these are them right there. I guess you could paint them on, but I'm not going to paint them on. I'm just going to leave it. It's not like tires last forever anyway. And older models, you know, they change them out so it is what it is uh, let's 
see here. That's rusting up a little bit. Maybe I have something weird going on with that. I don't know. Decals never ever work out how you want them to, do they? I don't know how old these ones are, but they don't feel like they're uh, sticking very well to anything. So we'll see how that goes. Stick them off to the side. Got our little chugga 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 choo choo here. It kind of just goes just right about here. Can I get a choo choo? Uh, straighten it out a little bit. I lost my tools, so I dropped my knife, nearly cut my foot. That's okay, I don't need my foot. I got two others. One other foot, not two. You got to put your right foot down, down, down. Anyway, got the Berlin Express thingy right there. <sighs> Boom. Now this one. This is going to be fun. Turn gay aircraft upside down. It's like literally there's just like no grip to these whatsoever. Uh, boo, forgot to peel off all the stuff from them. That's all right. It's. I really haven't experienced many decals that literally have no stick, but I guess today is that day. They come off the water slide and and just they're just there. No me gusta. I guess we can't complain about them sticking now, that's for sure. Boom. Okay. This, though, it's supposed to meet up all the way with the front edge. Just right here. Interesting. So I'm thinking once this dries a little bit, if it ever does, I don't really have a lot of faith in these decals, just so you know. Showing you here, sorry. It's very loose, doesn't want to stick. That's going to have to be sliced a little bit so it closes around that. We'll probably get to that later. But let's see what this looks like. Put the checkerboard on. Yeah, just, just a poor design, really. I guess that's all I can say is that comes like that. And this, I, I guess it'll work. I don't know. Well, like everything, I'll figure it out. No, I never said Ravel put a lot of money into their stuff, did they? No. Huh, my. So I mean, you can see that this here is probably supposed to be right in the center, and it's not. Paper towel, maybe. 
We'll see. But there, there's, there's like, it, they're not even really drying that long. One of the comments on there with, with me still, they just, there's nothing to them. And I mean, I literally just kind of took it out. This. We'll see. Hopefully, it all works out in the end. I mean, there's. I don't even really feel much glue on my fingers either. With these things. Trying to record it is going to be a bit tricky. Unless I move my camera somehow. I might have to. Let's do it a little bit differently here. I've got two different camera setups that I'm adjusting. That way I can record it for everybody to see. So loud bangs, you'll have to excuse me. making this work some way somehow that way I can record both at the same time and everybody can see them there we go doesn't want to work nothing likes me right now but I'm always determined to make everything work so there's a will there's a way as long as my wheel doesn't break, we'll be good. All right, so we got this one on sort of right here. A little bit more wetness to it. This one wanted to stick. Now it's already in a bad spot. I got to move it down a little bit. from pop up you're kind of sticking but not where I want and it moved a little bit so I'm gonna have to super glue will make it stay I know that that is definitely an option 
Super blue. It does. I mean, there, there, it's, I don't know how long the thing's been in the box with the older models, but it's also Ravel. So, I mean, it's, it's not like we expect a lot. I feel like, you know, if you're buying a Ravel kit, you should expect it to not be of 2001 quality. I don't know if that's a fair statement, but to me, it seems like it should be. Got to work slow with these. Have the symbols on this that you can't actually get in Germany. They have to like make lines when they build those. Let's see. That way you guys can see a little bit better there. Let's see. I just redid some of my settings, so maybe I can actually uh, see the chat messages as they come through from now on. You know, sometimes it takes brains, then sometimes it doesn't. So, who knows? Huh. I'm glad you guys have watched me build these things. It's certainly helped my channel. Uh, building at the same time and just showing it. And then, you know, people like what they like. Some want to watch it. And then they'll go back later and watch the short version of it. Uh, some stick around for a while and rebuild the whole thing. Yeah, these are... Uh, they're coming off fairly easy too. So it is what it is. My favorite saying. Pure model making madness, as you know. Probably shouldn't be using a hobby knife to do this, but that's what I do. Here, the World War II classic symbols, part of the whole reason for the war to begin with, because people just couldn't leave people alone and tried to change the whole entire world. Well, I tell you what, it didn't work out too well for them, did it? No, it did not. Let me sit here and I'll try to find the exact position. Maybe I will. So I do that. That looks good. I like that. All right, so you got to take this piece here. I'm actually trying to follow instructions for a change, which is rare because I'm not big with instructions. Take these things and press them in. I feel like that could use a little bit more uh, stuff in it. It's definitely popping up, so it's not like the um, smaller P51s where it tells you to slice them. I should have known better, but silly me doesn't. So we get what we get. Oh, I spilled my bottle again for the umpteenth time of a micro saw. I don't know how many times I've spilled that stuff. Go through bottle after bottle, and I do my best to cap it up, but um, half the time I'm not successful. I'm interested to see how these 
decals come out, decals. If you live in Australia, Europe. We are the United States, so everything's got to be a bit different. We all know that. <sighs> but at least these things go on rather quickly. So let's see here. Put this one here. Look at the size of that. Gigantic. Who sings that song? Gigantic. Can't remember. Or pose. I don't know. Anywho. This is going rather quick. At least so I think it is. And again, what the heck do I know? This one here is all one decal. And yeah, it's already starting to move off of that. Kind of shocking, actually, that it's going so quickly. There we go. It's almost exactly lines up where it's supposed to, which is kind of interesting. This one, however, is a bit too big, or I made my uh, stripes a little too small. One of the two, but that's okay. We're going to make it work because you have to leave room for other things. So we'll go right there. We'll see if the letter O will fit or not. I lost my scissors. Oh, found them. Found them.
perfectly sound stuff and have fun with that. Yeah, I mean, they're not too bad for the detail on them. Uh, I mean, it is 132nd, so they, we're, we're, we're kind of getting our money's worth on that, which is a good thing. Thing, just like that, one side is darn near done. Rivets on this are actually really pronounced. I did spray this with a Pledge Revive It ahead of time after the fact. Uh, so we got a good coat, flat coat to put on gloss coat. That debate is always interesting as well. Let's see here if we can uh, move this decal a little bit right there. Perfect. I'll go there and down. Leaves such a nice looking film right there, apparently. Gosh, I love that. Um, Oh well, I'll survive as long as you guys survive. Matching these things up isn't always a uh, easy task. See how well these conform to the curves here. The micro saw does its job. Yeah, it's fairly good stuff. Soaks right into your uh, what do you call them? 
with your rivets and things like that. I'm gonna coat this one one more time. It's incredible how people will lose their minds over certain little things like oh the decals turned yellow and or they, the paint mixed with this or that and it gets all goofy say so, yeah. and there was one just one No. I would think I made a boo boo. I'll have to put that there. I believe this decal right here. actually goes on the underside if I can get it up which I'm sure I can there we go I'm going to flip this plane real quick That is why nothing is moving up. Because I have the decal on the wrong side. It goes like this. got that in the right spot the first time. That almost never happens. Ever. Let that dry. Flip the plane back over. Let's make this decal. Let's see what number do we have here? We got this one. 33, I guess they're both 33. This one goes right here. And it should line up. Exactly like the picture. Not bad, not bad at all. Hmm. 
perfect over here. Take the right number 27 decal. Hey, all joining us, we're doing the uh, P51B Ravel Mustang. Already had issues. Those are too big, kind of right down the side. Those line up kind of funny right there with the top. As you can see there, it doesn't quite, I'm gonna, once it dries, gotta slice that a little bit there. Uh, conforms fairly nicely. The decals, I could say, are somewhat detailed for what they are. I'm not getting a lot of stick when it comes to putting these on, but they move fairly quickly, which is rare. And they go on fairly easily, which is even more rare. Like this one here. Water behind this thing. Yeah, it seems like once they're down, they're really they're not going to go anywhere. Uh, it's not really lining up how it should, but. What Revell kit ever does, right? Things half work half the time, and half the time they don't. I guess we'll just say that one's where it's supposed to go. Get all our junk all in this. Decals have never been my uh, strong suit. Oh. Plan to start now and make them in my strong suit. Maybe one day in the future they will be, but not today. Not today. So that's one side that's done basically, with the exception of uh, some minor decals. I'm gonna take a, let's see which decal is it? One of the stencil ones. Number 31. There we go. Get that red one that goes right there. Let this one just sit on top, just like so. Yeah, you can see how it just it's not. Good thing that the nose is not staying on here. That would probably bug the heck out of me. Might be easier to just paint that, people, just so you know. But since mine is done with the kit off, I'm not too concerned about it, as I always am, rarely lack of concern for many things. Using the three foot rule for virtually every model that I have ever done. Maybe one day if I enter competitions, I might care. But until that day, I'm happy just making these look pretty in the house. You see that? It didn't even soak well on the thing. It doesn't even want to stick. Ah. There we go. Put that on there. Easy peasy. This is why you don't use knives to do things. Some decals they don't stick and others they just looks like a pin. Arg. 
we'll go with the uh, tweezers. Like I said, you can see some days they move, some days they don't. Get more water behind it, and it'll move. In theory, everything's in theory. Okay. Since we're doing that side, may as well do this one here. You know one thing you have to be careful of when doing this is not to touch the decals on the other side of the aircraft. 
because I tend to do that sometimes and it messes everything up. So let's see if I haven't done that yet. Yeah, it looks kind of good still on that side, so not too bad. If you want really good weathering, fun thing to do is to let the uh, micro set set in because it will weather itself. It's quite interesting actually. those joining this is coming along very good and everything's going on fairly well with minor hiccups which is expected with older kits of this age things aren't always going to line up they're not always going to look pretty we can try to make the model make a madness look good but not always successful right now i just kind of there we go much better To make things look straight. Looks like I'm almost done this side. There's like there's not a lot to do decal wise with this model. Um, been at it for almost an hour, and I think I'm I'm like literally done with the exception of like some of the stencils we've got all the big things on and then 
I, it's basically a waiting game, trying to put on the right ones. As you can see, it looks like they are all pretty much on there now. Just have to uh, straighten them out a little bit, like this one here. Twist it on me. No directions tell you to press everything in, but every time you press stuff down, it tends to... Uh, move there we go always got to watch your hand placement if you're an impatient person such as myself it has to have everything done the second it's on you just boom go at it So I guess some of the things we need to put on are these little guys right here, one on each side. We'll take care of those. tank deals right there. Like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to uh, do stencils either. Because I don't like stencils anymore. You do one P or uh, F4 Phantom. You never want to do stencils again in your life if you decide to put every single one of them on there. There's about 5,000 of them. If you haven't seen me do the, uh, the Tamiya, I call it Tamiya. I don't know how everybody else says it. I, I'm convinced it's Tamiya. I don't like the word Tamiya man, mainly. So I'm just going to call it Tamiya because that's what I like. So let's see here. Be number 34. All right. Well, since I got the plane facing this way. We're going to put on this decal here first, or at least try to. Hopefully I don't break a wheel. This little guy, let's turn this way. I could probably paint this on if I wanted to. Yeah, you just do a little dry brush over it, but what fun would that be? Probably none. That would be my guess, no fun. All work and uh, no play make Ari a very dull boy. Just saying. See how well these things line up. I'm too blind to see because you know at our age you can't see anything anymore. Yeah, 
don't line up at all. But it comes with a decal, so we're putting it on there. That's the name of that game. We're going to do this side. Same thing. Perfect. Except it doesn't stick very well. So, got to get this on here. Boom. There goes the dynamite. Let's turn it to the other side. Um, the wheels on this front are kind of steady. The wheel on the back is kind of flimsy as can be, by the way, and for those keeping track at home. Oh my god. Well, that happened. That's okay. I got a good fix for it. The glue. It's like it popped right out. That's what I love about modeling. What was I going to show y'all? Uh, yeah. See? Look how bent it is. That's just from sitting down. Okay. Put this here. So now it's model making repairs. I like that. Wheel literally just fell right out. You see, does it have glue on it? A little bit. A little bit of glue. We'll uh, scrape some of that off. Make a better bonding point. There we go. That should hold. I hope. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, let's see here. Got these little guys in here. Oh, which way do they go? This way. It actually has... See how well these do. There it is. Okay. Can you believe I popped the wheel? I can. That just goes to show you the mating point is not very strong. Get that set. Let's see here. I'm trying to stencil. I'm only putting on a few of these things. S4. Hey, look, see the wheel's still on. What I tell you, I knew it would stay. Supposedly. And I'm guessing this thing goes right here. Looks like it actually goes to the side, but it's hard to tell. I 
appreciate y'all watching on this fine Sunday. Daylight savings time just occurred. I was up till six in the morning, apparently. Technically seven, playing Pokemon Go, doing PvP battles, because I just couldn't stop. It was like a bad virus. I kept going and going, and the next thing I know, you know, you get 25 battles a day. Ah, apparently yesterday it decided to give me 5,000 of them. The higher rank you get, the harder it gets, and then you start playing people that are good. Really good. It stinks, because I get my booty kicked when I do that. Um, I guess I'll turn this this way. Because that's what the instructions say. There we go. Put more of this stuff on there one more time. Let it sit in. Per the instructions for a couple minutes. And you're not supposed to touch them afterwards, but I do. So I'm not too worried about it. So how's everybody doing tonight? Y'all doing good? Give a shout out. Uh, I think this is it. And I've got some other stencils off here to the side. But I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to come back in the morning. Uh, try to slice this up right there. Make that a better fit. As you can see, that's kind of goofy. If it'll focus in on the camera. It doesn't like me today. There we go. So you can see how wacky that is. I got to get my camera fixed. It's kind of cracked. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. One more thing left to go. That is propeller. Favorite things in the world. You know, as we try to get good pictures at the Air and Space Museum and even when you go there, you still wind up not getting good pictures. No matter how hard you try, you think you're getting all the good ones that you need, and you don't. But I got a good one of me in my Stormtrooper suit with the big old red light and the SR-71 Blackbird behind me, but it's kind of hard to see. Uh, that is a little choo-choo. You can kind of see the uh, rivet lines, how they pop up in there. It's interesting about the P-51 is people are going, you got to sand your wings down and putty them. That's what they did on the real plane. Yeah, well, they also flew the real plane, and over time, the wings stress and they crack. And eventually, the putty lines just kind of go away. So I don't think they bothered to refill them and were too worried about drag once they're in a war. But what do I know? War is not fun. Hopefully we don't have to do any of them for a while. It'd be nice. Haven't been in war and just finished one up, hopefully. And we can move on to the next new things. I did finally understand what these are, though, on the wings. You know, uh, I guess it tells you, like, what the pitch is. At least on here, it's kind of hard to see, but, you know, though, that's all these are. Look at real wings up close. They're talking about the pitch of the the uh, propeller. And they all kind of go right close to the top. Just like so. Yeah. have a bit of an unconventional way of doing things, but it works, doesn't it? I got five people watching me that got to go to work probably in the morning. I hope you all are in California, unless you're in Australia or the UK, because, man, it's getting late. 
I'm glad I don't have to work. I don't know when I go to work next. Ah, I haven't been to work in like a couple, what, I don't know, two weeks? I don't know. It's been a while. I was at work a week. I lose track sometimes. Oh well, I'll survive. Works work. Like a zombie drone. Go to work. Sleep at work. Wake up at work. Go to the grocery store at work. When I'm at work, I'm literally at work. I don't leave for a week. It's such a wonderful life. You should try the oil field sometime. It's great. Drilling holes in the ground. That way we can have oil and gas and other fun things. I've drilled for oil, gas, CO2. That's really interesting to drill for. Uh, I think coal bed methane, maybe potash. I'm not sure. I drilled for some stuff. I don't think I've drilled potash. I hear that's a different procedure altogether. My travels have taken me to Wyoming, good old Casper. It's a very interesting place. Not a lot of trees. Uh, South Dakota. Got to see ye old Mount Rushmore. If you care about that stuff. Uh, also, I got the Lewis and Clark Trail going all through North Dakota along the Missouri River. A lot of your drilling is done on Indian reservations, but people don't know that, or you got to at least cut through the reservation. In fact, most of the Midwest is Indian reservation. Can we say Indian? Native American? I don't even know what's right anymore. I don't know. I mean, offend anybody, but yeah, I don't know. I'm sure, somebody will correct me. I almost went to a powwow. I used to think that was a joke. You just hear about it, but no, nah, they're real, and that's the name of it. It's called a, pow a powwow. Look at that. Got everything done. Oh, I lost two people. I guess they didn't want to hear me talk about powwows. That's okay. Probably because Tampa Bay's playing. Did they get they get beat up today by other uh, Rams. I'm sure one of my friends, or yeah, Rams. Yay, old Matt Stafford. The man that couldn't win one in Detroit. He goes somewhere else, and what's he do? Does. Wins himself a Super Bowl. Had to beat Brady to get there, though. With one second to go on the game clock. That was a great game, wasn't it? They're, tell you what, man, them dang old Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they ain't doing so well. Maybe Brady should have stayed retired. I don't know. What do you think? How you like all this stuff? Is it working out? I need more Q-tips. Need more Q-tips. There we go. Uh, let me get this in a better spot. There we go. I think they all line up. I like it. Well, folks, that means we're done with the decals. Um, manana means I am probably going to finish the exhausts. I'm going to drill out some exhausts and put the holes in some very small exhaust outlets. And I'll show you what some of them look like right now. So, we've got this one undrilled clearly. And we've got this one. Had a little snafu right there, but 
I drilled those out. I also drilled them out on the P51B. I did not do it on the P51B that I foiled, which if you haven't seen any of my other videos, you've got that right there. For those that just stopped in, this is the P51B from Ravel that I just finished. We're almost done most of these planes. This was a triple build. Here, of course, is the Airfix P51BD. Uh, just got to put a couple things on that. Had a little bit of trouble with the decals. They broke because I stepped on them and I'm impatient. But the little Indian, that turned out well. And I was showing people that uh, tomorrow I'm going to work on the exhausts. I showed them once. Got this one right here that uh, is not filled in. And this one right here that got holes in. So that's what we're going to do is drill those out. Um, I think we're done. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like. I appreciate it. Y'all watched a lot of these videos today. Till next time. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Sometime. I don't know when. But look for me. We'll be working on the uh, painting those exhausts. Later, guys.